So have you experienced God? You're asking this question so easily. When you say God, I want you to understand this. When you say God, you are not talking about somebody or something. When you say God, you are talking about the source of your own creation, isn't it? Isn't it so? When you say God, you are talking about the source of your creation, from what you have come. What is the source of my being? That's what you are asking. So you are asking me, have you experienced the source of my being or your being? Because it cannot be different. Right now, your being and my being may be very different. But the source of this cannot be different. So when you ask, have you experienced this? You are asking, have I experienced the source of your existence? Isn't it? So, the depth of the question has not still tormented you. Still on the surface. Curiosity, it's okay, anyway we'll look at it. <laughs> to ask, what is the source of my creation means, that means I'm existing here without knowing the fundamentals of who I am, isn't it? That's what it means. Living here without knowing the fundamentals of who I am, if you understand the implications of it, it's not a small thing, it'll tear you. As I was probably we touched this yesterday, the pain of ignorance, the pain of not knowing has to tear you apart. Then only the question becomes truly relevant. Where is God? Tell me. How is God? Tell me. This is… this is not a question. This is a social debate that is going on. A question means, a question should come from not knowing, wanting to go to knowing, isn't it? That's what a real question is, isn't it so? A genuine question means, it is wanting to move from not knowing to knowing. That's what a question is a device, to move from not knowing to knowing. If one does not know the fundamentals of who he is, that is not a simple problem. That is a very, very deep problem, isn't it? Most basic, most fundamental and ultimate. Because whatever you do in your life, if you do not know the very basis of who you are, it's just utter nonsense the whole life, isn't it? Isn't it so? If one does not know the very fundamentals of who he is, that means you are declaring, when you ask, where is God, what is God, did you experience God, did you know God? When you ask these questions, you are telling to yourself, that my life is utter nonsense, A to Z. Everything in my life is utter nonsense. Maybe the impact of that realization has not sunk into you yet. It should. You must know the pain of not knowing. Then you cannot be here without knowing. You have to know. Once such a situation comes, such a burning comes within you that you cannot sleep one day without knowing, it's not far away because what you're trying to know is within you. If you burn with the longing to know, what you want to know is sitting up in the heaven, that would be a difficulty. If you burn wanting to know, if wanting to know burns you, it is immediate because it's right here. Anyway, let's start from your beliefs and whatever you believe in, whatever your understanding is from that. Because we can only go from where you are. They have always told you, God is everywhere. Is that so? Or even if they have not told you, whichever religion, whichever culture they have told you this. But even if they have not told you, from your own intelligence, if you look at it, you can see if there is something called God, it has to be everywhere. Yes? If I can lock him up in my temple and come, he's no good to you. Isn't it so? So if there is something called as God, it's got to be everywhere. If it's everywhere, 
it needs to be here also there also there also there also